I'm Tyler Iverson, service technician. Today we're going to load a mix design into the control panel of a C60. Simply touch edit mix design, create a new file, and name your new mix design. Remember, when naming a mix design, it's important to name it clearly to distinguish it from your other mix designs. For today's purposes, we're going to use test. Simply press OK. And that will take us directly to our mix design page. Now it's important when you get to these pages to make sure that you read the page from top to bottom. There are many things that need to be filled in and missing one will affect the way you make concrete. We can see that we are on the mix design page one. Mix design file name is test and it's asking us to enter the material amounts required to make one yard of concrete. We're going to start with our cement file. I'm going to touch cement calibration file and we will select the type of cement that we're going to use in this mix design. Open that file it will load it automatically into our mix design page. There are many different strengths of concrete, but for today's purposes, we're going to use 470 pounds of cement in this mix design. We're going to do the same for sand. We're going to touch our sand calibration file, select the sand that we want to use, and open that file. Obviously, many mix, different mix designs call for many different pounds of sand and stone. Today, we're going to use 1,400 pounds of sand. And it will, will automatically tell us that our calculated gate setting will be 6.4. Select our stone calibration file. And we're going to use 1,600 pounds of stone. Our calculated gate setting will be 7.6. We can see up here that we have a mixer speed of 280 RPMs. That's the standard for a C60. Our conveyor speed is 50 RPMs, which is also a standard. You can lower that if you need to lower it, touching the conveyor speed and entering in the amount of RPMs that you need to use. The slowest amount of RPMs you can use on a C60 would be 25. For today and this mix design, we're going to use the standard of 50. We can see that we're, our mix design, we're using our high speed cement. Low speed cement would be for lower strength concrete or flowable fill. Select our water calibration file. and enter the amount of gallons we want in our yard. Today we're going to use 25. Remember, many mix designs call for the amount of pounds of water in a cubic yard. Simply take the total amount of pounds, divide them by 8.34, and that will give us the gallons to use in our yard. We can see now that we will have 20,336 conveyor counts to produce a yard. Our water to cement ratio will be 44.4 and our seconds per cubic yard will be 52.5. Select next, which will take us to mix design page number two. And this is where we would add any add mix that we were using in this mix design. We would simply touch our add mix number one open that selected file and add the amount of ounces that you would require in that mix design. We would use the same for add mix number two. Some trucks would have a third mix design and it would be the same for their third mix design. Touch next. That will take us to mix design page number three. Our fiber feeder calculations. Simply use our fiber feeder calibration file. Enter the amount of pounds in our yard. The same with color. Enter the amount of color that you would want in your yard. At this point, don't forget to press save. That will enter, that will save our file into our calibration files. 
from our home screen when we're ready to make concrete, simply touch pour concrete, start a pour, select a mix design, locate the mix design that you'd like to use, highlight it, accept it, and we're ready to pour concrete. That is how you would enter a mix design into your C60. I'm Tyler Iverson.